UBS. Swiss Wedding Magazine, yep. Hotelier. And now, <laughs> she's Woo! the owner of Hochzeit's Messe, Zurich. That's yeah. so amazing. Yeah, High it five is. on that. It oh my is. goodness. I mean, I never ever believed it before. Yeah. Because in the last years, sometimes I told my friends, if I would have enough money, I would buy the wedding first <gasps> because I love them. But, but you, okay, that, at that moment you were putting it out into the universe. Yeah. <laughs> putting it out into the universe. And the thing is, maybe because you didn't believe it and, and you weren't giving it so much energy, yeah. maybe that's what... Yeah, it comes back to me. I mean, you know, I, had, I, I really had a, a long time in the last three weeks yeah. to realize... Yeah that my wedding exhibition comes back to me and I didn't have to pay anything. You know what? We talked about this when we were at Dole. We yeah. talked about this. Yeah. yeah. We talked about this. Yeah. Maybe you don't remember, but I remember. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, saying, yes, I do. I own this and I yeah. would do this. And d yeah. D yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. So I am I, I'm did you really cry? happy. Oh, yes, I did. You cried? I did. Yeah. But it was a protest as well because one day, six weeks ago, I can't remember, um, you could read in, in the papers everywhere, yes. in social media and everywhere, all my medicine um, stops wedding exhibitions. Yes. St. Gallen in Zurich. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what? I couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it. And then um, the phone is ringing, emails is coming, WhatsApp, everything. Maya, Maya, would you like to do this again? Um, or can you do anything that the wedding exhibition is coming back to the market? And I really had to think a lot because yeah. there's also a lot of money. I mean, yes. it is not easy to have a wedding fair in these dimensions. And not in Switzerland. And not in Switzerland. <laughs> so um, I had a lot of meetings. I had a lot of days and nights which I've been thinking about. Okay, yes, I will do it. Yes, of course, but how? Mm. And, and where is the money coming from? Mm. And now I've got... I've got it. <laughs> and you've got it. <laughs> I mean, I think... Um, I, when, when, I, when, I, when you told me that... I had to look at my screen like three or four times. I'm like, ah, uh, yes. Like we just talked about, I like the joy yeah. I feel for you. It's like, I could just sit down with my box of like <laughs> tissues. Like, oh my gosh, mom, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I feel so happy for you because yeah. like you were saying for 12 years, it has been your baby. Yes. It has yes. been, it has been like, yeah. and, and I thought, I actually thought she was the owner. I thought you were the owner. You're not the only one. Yeah, a lot of people been thinking about yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, everyone thought you were the owner, so yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's just that you took your rightful place, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's just everything that should have been is. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. it's amazing. And so, yeah. um, how did you get over the question of oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? Because that's another blocker. Yes. So, um, yeah, it needs time. Yeah. You have to take your time. Yeah. You have to hear on your. Tommy again. Yeah, you have to trust your intuition. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I had to talk about with a lot of people because, I mean, all the costs, all the contracts, yeah. all, all the things you have to sort it out. Um, and actually just now is the point that the wedding exhibition is really in my firm. So I've been um, advertising by Olma Messen. Uh -huh. For sales, actually. Okay. So I started uh, 2007 okay. for sales by the Olma Messen in St. Gallen. And a few months later, if somebody is coming and asking me if I would like uh, to be the person or the, the manager of the exhibition from the wedding fairs. Wow. So, <laughs> uh, I said, okay, I really, really love organizations since ever. And because I, you're Swiss. And because I'm Swiss. <laughs> Every Swiss yes. love organizations. Yes, organizations. <laughs> no, I really lo love the events. I love the, yeah, the organization, the people and everything. So, I've been thinking about, uh, can I do this? Uh, I have no experience. Um, should I start uh, being an exhibition manager? Yes. 
let's start, let's try. So, I, you it's, just went it's, for it. Yeah, how you say, uh, yeah. You just uh, went. Zufall? It was just a coincidence. Yep. Oh, I mean, so, I mean, that's, it's, it's super interesting that you'd say that you had doubts and you weren't sure of yourself because I find that that's one of the biggest things for everyone, but especially for women that hold you back from mm -hmm. at least trying, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you could, like, I, nowadays I feel like, okay, I feel proud of myself if I at least try, but yeah. the biggest failure is not even trying. Yeah. So what gave you the courage to just try at least when you had the doubt? I really think I saw a chance mm -hmm. to grow up, yeah. to, to make experience, to meet other people, to um, make also the next step in a yes. business. That's yes. al also a point because um, I just told I was alone with three children, so I have to earn money. Yeah. That's the other thing. Yes. And uh, they gave me the opportunity to make the next step in the business. Yes. And yeah, I mean, wedding as for a woman is wedding anyway really exciting. Excited. <laughs> uh, a lot of, yes, yeah. interesting. The jewelry. Um, There's so know, many the, things we love the fashion, the, the jewelry, the yes. everything like that. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so I said, yeah, okay. I, it doesn't I have to be about the wedding exactly. It's just there's so many things in it that you love that it doesn't matter. It all is yeah. individually things that you like anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, would it be fair to say that having three children to feed and support was a big push for you to, to yes, take the chance? Uh, yes, of course, as well. Did it feel like pressure? Uh, uh, the point was, I'm not a woman with a lot of um, papers and certificates. Mm -hmm. I'm actually I'm learning by doing. Yes. Because of the three children. The three children, uh, they were very young mm -hmm. when I was on my own and I had to earn money. So I didn't have any time to make some schools and uh, make uh, certificates right. for a lot of things. Yeah. So I think my, um, my possibility, mm -hmm. they are not that, that big mm -hmm. on this time. I mean, that's 20 years ago. Yeah. 25. Oh. So... Um, I really did look at it as an opportunity mm -hmm. and um, I was quite happy to, to get this opportunity. I, I still find that amazing because if some people, you know, even in those circumstances would say, mm, I don't know. Yeah, but also the, I really love new things. Okay. I think that's uh, one bit of my person. I just really love to uh, create new things yeah. and uh, get new chances and new um, opportunities. I just yeah. love it. We can talk about what's going on now. I want to know all about this Hochzeitsmesse. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> I want to know about Swiss, Mag Swiss Wedding Magazine. Yeah. I want to know about everything you're doing. So mm -hmm. what is your vision for the Hochzeitsmesse? Uh, going back. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> We're doing that again. <laughs> so, what is your vision for the Hochzeit's Messe going forward, you know, now into 2022 and onward, uh -huh. and how has that changed because you're the owner now? Well, <laughs> I think I start on the end. Okay. Uh, if you ask what has changed when I was, I'm the owner now, Yeah. I don't want to change that lot. Yeah. Because it was... It, it was yours already. It was, it was twice already. already. Yeah, yeah. The media still asking me all the last years, uh, Maya Stuber, what's the trend in this year? And I always said the same. 80% of the wedding is traditional mm -hmm. for me. Yes. And the trend yes. is on the last 10 or 20%. Yes. So, and the trend means how it looks like, yes. the decoration, yes. the fashion, yes. the jewelry, mm, the jewelry, yeah, where, not... You mean where all the money is? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so everyone is talking right now about the challenges when it yeah. comes to coronavirus. People are talking about, you know, uh, you know, sales going down and all that kind yeah. of stuff. I am an entrepreneur just like you, and in my opinion, someone is always winning, yeah, someone is right. always making money, yeah. and there's always a way. And I think that these 
are the biggest opportunities, just like the crash in 2008, nine or whatever. Yes, yes. These are the best opportunities for, you know, coming up like a phoenix yeah. and making a difference. Yeah. And so do you think that right now you have to hold back and wait a little bit? <laughs> or do you think that you need to go in there yeah. and be aggressive? I'm, I'm kind of answering the question. Okay. <laughs> Do you think you need to go in there, be aggressive, take no prisoners, and yeah. just bulldoze your way into success like I know you can? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Okay, maybe if you ask me in a few weeks, I will give you a different answer yeah. because it's everything's so, so new. fresh. So I, in the moment <laughs> at home, I sort out all my projects yeah. and yeah. I start to to work. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, you'll start. So, to... But yes, I mean, you know, if I hear something anywhere, yeah. so I just jump up. And, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, maybe. I, I mean, you, you have to come and have a look in yes, January. I am. And I then am. you will see. Yeah, <laughs> and absolutely. maybe then you will say, Maya, I told you. <laughs> so, yeah. But I think, you know, the thing is, um, for me, for me, when I say, you know, are you able to jump and be successful? Yeah. For me, it makes sense that maybe the the conferences might not be as big and, and, and growing as as it would mm -hmm. have if it didn't have coronavirus. Mm -hmm. I don't mean that. I mean that, for example, um, there are things to do in between, mm -hmm. you know, those conferences. There are ways to grow the brand and have it be top of mind for people mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. don't necessarily involve mm -hmm. the actual event. And the thing is, I think that even in these coming years, the things that you do in between time mm -hmm. and the way you position the brand will make it so that when everyone starts to come out like they used mm -hmm. to, then mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. hockey puck, mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. like, <laughs> and, 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 and it yes. will look like, it will look like an overnight success. Are we getting this on camera? Because I want to be quoted. <laughs> I want to be quoted. <laughs> but I think it will look like an overnight yeah. success, but I'm saying that this is a perfect opportunity because, for example, everyone in the hotel industry is very open yeah. to the deals that can be made. Yeah. Whereas maybe That's before... Right. They wouldn't be, you know, all of the providers also mm -hmm. are open because, you know, they're not doing as much. And mm -hmm. so I think that you have the attention, especially mm -hmm. with such a big platform, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, you have the potential to get the attention mm -hmm. and, you know, make some really great deals yeah. in this time. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what true. I mean. Do you think yeah. that <laughs> you think you're going to do that? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah, please.